then um, any last words before we go into the net assets? Um, I think I think we're good. If you want to go into like more of the risky things, I could I could talk about that, or we could wait for wait for later. Uh, I think I have that allocated in the net assets. We actually okay, cool. have it as a line item. So let's All right, talk about that. Good. Yeah, let's talk about that. I'm pretty sure I do, right? Um, well, bam. And speculative stocks, we have three percent. So hopefully that that would also out be uh, a conversation with the uh, risky stuff. Do we want to start there? So here we have maybe let's just walk us through this from retirement all the sure. way down to crypto. Um, okay, so the. So the retirement, I kind of already covered that. I think that's just the the my my investments plus the it's my invest my yeah that's my investment plus the match basically. So that nine percent plus the eight percent I'm I'm investing, um, just target date fund there. Um, so that's that's where most of my uh, assets lie currently, I guess just under 50%. Then general investing, that, that would be everything else included in as far as the non-speculative, like dollar cost averaging, stuff like that. Um, some of the robo advising, uh, not including the bonds though. So this is general investing for stocks, I think. Um, and then yeah, that's how that's how it's broken down here. So that's retirement stocks, then general investing, just stocks. So um, those are all kind of like more safer safer bets. How I I plan to do that. Wanted to get that out of the way first. So that was my number one goal. And then <laughs> the bonds is uh, that that betterment distribution, robo advising, and a little bit of retirements. I don't. I think uh, right now the target date on it's really low on bonds right now. I'm not even positive there are any currently, but I, I would have to double check. Um, so that's it's mainly just just stocks, uh, international and um, domestic. And then cash got a little bit of cash, and then crypto talked about that. Yep. Um, and then speculative stocks, yeah, those that's just the stuff that I I. Uh, had had fun with over the over the year while I was bored in quarantine, like a a lot of people a lot of people have. So that's that's been the the roller coaster ride. Right, right. <laughs> so some very terrible investments and some really lucky investments. <laughs> Maybe right. some good investments along the way, but probably just lucky. Uh, <laughs> so so yeah. So I think I started out the year kind of my goal was to learn a lot. I, since I didn't know anything about investing, I kind of wanted um, to start out with a little bit of that. And just, I got Robin hood and um, TD Ameritrade and started trading a few of the stuff like reading from listening from podcasts, reading on like forums and stuff mm -hmm. and uh, looking into a little bit more of the, a little bit more, of the details there and then occasionally just hearing from a friend that this is a good investment and so, not looking into it at all and just putting my money into do, it do you have <laughs> any specific uh any specific stocks that stick out to you that you've been the most speculative on in a sense yeah so let's see i bought amc nice like after after it went up a lot